Hey everybody, it's Josh with Dara Holsters. We're gonna do a quick video today on one of our newest products that we're offering. It is the Shot Timer from Kestrel, the KST-1000. Just do a quick review on it. We've been using it for a couple weeks now. We really like it. We've used a couple other shot timers, and this is one of the more expensive ones, but you really get what you pay for with this. So down here at the bottom, this is the on button. You just press that once. It'll come up with Kestrel Ballistics. And it has a nice large screen on the front. It also has a, a smaller screen on the top. Um, they both display the same thing, but uh, it's good for if you're, if you're wearing it on your, your belt. Um, you can see your, your times across the top. A few of the features this has, like I said, the, the large front display. It also has a backlight, and the button here is for the backlight. Um, smaller top display, a nice sturdy belt clip that's not gonna come off or break. Um, it also has a lanyard tie off if you wanted to tie off for any reason. It uses two CR123 batteries in the back here to open the battery compartment. You have a little latch here, and then you pop this off, replace your batteries, really easy. The battery life is about 90 hours on just these two batteries, so you have plenty of battery life out of just those two. It is waterproof, IP67 rated, submersible up to one meter for 30 minutes. We haven't tested that yet, but I, I believe them when they say that. Um, it does have Bluetooth. Um, I'll tell you a little bit more about the Bluetooth later, but it is a feature that this comes with. Some of the functions of this shot timer, it can store up to 50 strings. So 50 separate iterations. Each time you press the go button is a new string. And within each string, it holds up to 150 shots. So you can shoot 150 times per string and it'll save all 50. Once it reaches 50, it'll rewrite over the oldest one. So your newest one will write over your oldest string. The sensitivity can be adjusted on these. It can be adjusted really low for suppressors or dry fire training. It could also be adjusted really high. It could also be adjusted for airsoft if you're into airsoft. It has some preset levels in there for you. There is rifle, pistol, 22 long rifle, suppress, suppress 22 long rifle, dry fire, and then there's four custom settings. So you can, you can set up four custom ones for, for whatever you're doing. So we've, we've tested with suppressors. It, it easily picks those up, no, no issues at all. You can set up a start delay, so you can have it start at a certain time after you press the button. You can also have random time, so if you want to have it start between two and a half and three and a half seconds, you can set all that in there in the settings. It'll also do par times, so if you are dry fire practicing and you wanted to set a time for your draw and then set a time for reload, you can, you can set in up to uh, three par times. The intervals for the par times, you can do as low as 0.4 seconds all the way up to 99.9 .9 seconds at 0.1 second intervals if you wanted to get it really down and start bringing your, your reload times down. It also has a loop function, so if you were doing dry fire practice at home and you wanted to loop, you can just set the loop function and it will it will go through your dry fire sequence, and then once it gets to the end, you'll, you can set a loop time, and after that timer is up, it will start the loop over again, so you don't have to continuously press the go button. So you'll do your dry fire, you'll pick up your mag, you'll put it back in the holster, and after a certain amount of time, whatever you set, the timer will start over again, you can just keep going. It'll do that um, up to 30 times. The buzzer on this thing has uh, three settings. There's a high, a medium, a low. A high is very loud. It's, even if wearing ear pro, it's, it's very noticeable. The medium sounds just like every other shot timer, and the low is good for if you're doing it inside, like, like I said, doing your dry fire practice. So when you go to review your shots, this big button in the top center, you'll press that once and it'll come up with your, your strings along the top and all your shots in here so you can view it. Also, if you're in the, the main screen with the timer, you can use your left and the right buttons to go back through that string to go from shot nine to shot eight or shot seven, or if you press the right button, it'll go nine, 10, 11, however many shots. So you can review those with these buttons. It'll also do the same on the top. So when you go back to review your last shots, it also displays everything on the top. So it'll show you your last time, it'll show you your first shot and total, total time.
once you hit the go button, the timer's gonna start and it'll continue to run. If you are done firing for that iteration and you want the timer to stop, you press the mute button right here in the middle. It'll say mute in the center. Which one okay. is that? This middle one. Okay. And so it's still timing. So if I wanted to unmute, yeah. unmute and it's still, the timer's still going. Oh, nice. Mute and it won't pick up any more shots. So you won't see that extra number at the bottom. That's cool. Adjusting the sensitivity levels. Once you start getting into adjusting them for different things, like picking up suppressors or dry firing, the lower the number in your sensitivity setting, the more sensitive it is. The higher the number, the less sensitive. So really low numbers would be for dry fire or suppressor. High numbers would be for large caliber rifles or pistols. Another cool feature is an echo timer on this. What it will do is it will catch your first shot and then if there's an echo after that, you can set a time interval to ignore any echo. So like say you're inside indoors at a range, you get that echo off the walls. You can adjust that time out there so it won't pick up your shot and then pick up the echo. So you'll have an actual true shot time. So some of the other considerations when you're thinking about purchasing this uh, shot timer is if you're wearing it, the mics are on the back. There's two little mic phones right here. If you're wearing it and you're covering up those microphones by your gear or a jacket or something like that, that's just something you have to be aware of. You might want to wear it facing out or, or set it down or, or have somebody hold it for you. Um, another thing is this only comes in yellow. There's no other colors. Um, yellow is the only color you could spray paint it if you want, I'm sure, but they do not offer any other colors as of right now. It does come with a five year warranty and it is made and designed in the United States. There's a little sticker designed and built in the United States. So if that's one of those things that you look for, which I personally do, I like to buy USA made parts and materials. This is 100% designed and made in the US. It's also drop tested to mill standard 810G. You might see that a lot drop tested or mill standard mill standard testing, things like that. So I actually looked up what the mill standard test is for 810G, and it means it is dropped from four feet on every side and every corner. So it's dropped 26 times on each face, each side, each corner. So I did mention the Bluetooth function. So the only thing the Bluetooth does on this right now is you can update your firmware on the Kestrel via Bluetooth from your phone. As of right now, it does not support any um, data logging via Bluetooth to your phone, so it doesn't link to Practice Score, the Practice Score app. Um, they are working on it. A few of the things I saw, it says they are hoping to integrate that in the future to be able to use the Bluetooth function to integrate to your phone and be able to record your shot times and, and your practicing. And the last thing is price. So it is on the more expensive side of the, uh, the shot timers that you'll find. Some of the other ones go for anywhere from 130 to 170. This is uh, currently listed on our website at 309.99. So it is a little bit more expensive, but you get what you pay for. You get waterproof, you get designed and built in the United States. Uh, you have the large screen on the front, the top screen. It has a whole lot of functions in it. Like I said, the, the echo function and picking up suppressors, dry fire, things like that. So it is definitely worth the money if you are looking for a quality shot timer. Shoot, ready? All right. Stand by. Stand by. <laughs> 